こんにちは、みんな、僕はジェレミです。よろしくお願いします。And this is going to be a part one of two review video. I'm halfway through, not even halfway through, about the first break, or maybe the only break, of、uh, Le Mouvement Final on the New Sailor Moon musical. And、uh, it's just, I'm, I'm going to have to watch this kind of in two parts. So one part today and then some other time the rest of this week. So I've taken notes like I did before. So let's get down to it because there's a lot to cover with this one. I, I will say the pacing on this is ridiculous. It's everywhere. It's all over the place. Things go into each other really, really fast and it's just boom. Like they just throw a lot of crap at you all at once. And this is why I think it would be better to split it up kind of like they did originally with Stars and then、um, Kaguya Shima Densetsu to some degree. Anyway, let's get into it. So, at the very beginning, we have I Know Starshine, kind of like an organ, kind of orgel meets overture dance number type thing, like you'd see almost in a, in a Broadway type show.、Um, I think that's kind of what they were going for. It's got、uh, Mamoru and Usagi basically at the airport saying goodbye because Mamoru's going to go to Boston and、uh, take university there. Now, as they're just about to,、um, to say the goodbyes and stuff like that, the three lights are being chased by these. Uh, groupies and、uh, Usagi sends them off elsewhere, and the three lights are like, Oh, okay.、Um, and they kind of say, It's like, Oh, wait a minute, I, I sense a power of the stars and stuff from them.、Um, so Mamoru, Mamoru gives Usagi a ring and is pretty much instantly killed by Galaxia, but、um, and it's like, got a neat effect. They have like this screen thing, you see Mamoru,、um, and then there's like all this kind of like wispy black stuff,、um, like a dark matter. Kind of a thing, and they start kind of talking about the star seeds and the sailor crystals as being two different things, although they kind of correlate to each other. The sailor crystals, of course, are a sailor senshi star seed, and basically their very essence. Usagi basically goes into shock and deletes it from her memory that Mamoru's basically been killed right in front of her, and she just thinks that he's gone off to America, kind of similar to the manga, similar to the anime.、Um, doesn't deviate too too much.、Uh, Seiya is. Kind of worried, but the three lights are like, okay, well, it's not our, our problem, blah, blah, blah. And then Chibi Chibi appears, and、uh, yeah, so.、Uh, then we cut over to the Usagi band, which is basically exactly like the Sailor Stars musical of the past. The inners are singing, they have their instrumentals,、um, and it, it I don't know, the song to me kind of sounded like it had remnants of a sped up version of Koi Suda Satellite to some degree, maybe not.、Um, and then Uh, they get flowers from Hotaru and Setsuna. Haruka and Michiru come in and they're、uh, doing like a pianist violin type thing. You kind of hear the song in the background, but what we're actually witnessing is what's going on in the foreground.、Um, the girls go apeshit over the three lights coming in, and uh, after uh, Haruka and Michiru are done playing their song and the scene continues, they come out and、uh, Sei is going to give Michiru a rose, but、uh, Haruka intercepts it. They shake hands, and Haruka first feels the power of Seiya being a, sail a sailor star, potentially.、Uh, the Three Lights sing a rather lackluster song compared to Chasing After You from the originals, as I would say.、Um, but again, they're not using any of the songs from the original musicals, which I thought was weird, but I guess maybe they just want to clean slate, even though the director or writer of these musicals is similar to the ones from the past, which is why we're getting a lot of rehashing from the original ones, I think. Specifically, Amour Eternal and Le Mouvement fin Finale, like, there's so many similarities between them and the original musicals compared to La Reconquista,、uh, Petite Etrangere, and、uh, Un Nouveau Voyage. They kind of had a feeling of difference to them, whereas these ones are very rehashed. It kind of feels like it's a mixture of the original Sailor Stars musical and the Kaitaban of it, and 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 Setsu, which is my favorite, and the And and Setsu Final First Stage again, which is my favorite, and then Shinden Setsu Kuren, except it didn't have the、um, Amazon trio in it like this one did, and the other Sailor Stars musical. And the other Sailor Stars musical, so, <laughs> of which I have them all on VHS and cost me $60 each. That was a long time ago. I have the whole collection, but we'll leave that alone. So it just, it just feels like there's a huge correlation between them and the old ones.、Um, so the Starlights do their song, which again, like I said, to me it feels kind of lackluster.、Uh, Iron Mouse appears. Um, feeling Star Siege nearby and stops the concert. Sailor Moon appears. Iron Mouse uses Galactica Crunch, which I think she had a different attack actually, but maybe I'm wrong. 
thought it was Galactica Chu. Maybe maybe there was something lost in translation in one of the things. Could have been the manga. Um, then Sky of Jewels plays, which seems to replace uh, the Guardians of the White Moon, or it just becomes a full, everybody comes in and introduces themselves, Sailor Century theme song, and it's actually really neat. And Venus actually gets to finish her, her part. Oh my god. So that was kind of neat. Um, and then Iron Mouse ends up dabbing away because dabbing apparently is the uh, thing to do. So, bye, Iron Mouse! And then uh, Sailor Uranus knows that the uh, three lights are senshi. The inners only care uh, that the three lights are tra transferring to their school. Uh, so, Pluto is staff at the school, of course. It's Suna. She's the, the nurse. Um, this musical has a very rock theme to it. I guess the original Star Wars musicals kind of did, too. There's like a rocky... Well, some of the songs, anyway. Shadow Galactica and Galaxia is introduced. This is like within the first 20 minutes, by the way, that all this is happening. Galaxia Gorgeous is a much better song than uh, the song that Galaxia sings in this. Um, the actress that plays Galaxia kind of has a deer caught in headlights look, kind of like the new Sailor Moon Hotaru does. Um, she's getting a little bit better with her emotions, but Galaxia is not as good as some of the other Galaxias in the past, I have to say. That's just my own personal opinion. Uh, but literally, she's got like this deer caught in the headlights look when she's singing. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of creepy if she was to go up to the camera like this with this huge eyes and stuff like that, but that's exactly what she's like. So moving right along. Maybe they want that as the creep factor. Uh, there's a rivalry between um, the duo of Mouse and Yanko versus Crow and Siren, which is really interesting because Crow and Siren don't really act like friends, but they did in the anime. Um, Mouse and Yanko being a cat, like a mouse and a cat, I just thought that was kind of cute that they had a little friendship there and that they support each other. Galaxia was pissed off that Mouse didn't get the senshi and that she ran away. Uh, the three lights argue over who, who is tone deaf and why the princess isn't hearing their songs. Setsuna appears to protect Usagi on the roof. Uh, from the three lights, she feels their power presence, and Seiya wants to talk to Usagi later, but Susuna thinks it's about her. They leave and call her an old lady. This is the funniest part. I love it. Um, Pluto's actress is amazing. I've always loved her. She is hilarious. She's probably my fast becoming my very favorite Pluto of all time. Uh, although I did like Saito Rei as well. But um, she <laughs> she's just like oh 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 bah, like old, and it's just it was hilarious. I don't know if that was just the choice of the actress because it was the last performance. Because they do that, they throw in like these little ad libbing lines, but it was fucking hilarious. And then she calls an emergency meeting for the next day after school, which all of a sudden instantly becomes that next scene, which I guess is fine because Pluto does control time after all. So um, basically, they're doing their thing. Uh, they they're like, okay, well, you know. Um, they do their Ichni Sanchi Godoku Shichi Hachikyu Ju. It's got Chibi Chibi. It's a throwback to Sailor Busters, basically, when they do that. Mina Ichni Sanchi Godoku Haru Are Nande Nande and blah blah blah. And they do that thing, and it's and then it's Hotaru, but it's actually Chibi Chibi this time, and it's not actually a song. Now, uh, there's a pointless yet kind of cute Chibi Chibi song that really makes no sense, but it's not as annoying as Mata Mata Chibi Yusa Des, which everybody, I think, is thankful that that's not in this musical. Setsuna feels the enemies um, and that the three lights came from the meteor shower that happened a little while ago. Uh, Setsuna draws a skirt and Sailor Fuku on Seiya's picture that she had on the board, and the others freak out as Rei and Minako think that the three lights are the Sailor Senshi, meaning that they are women and they all have this weird freak out thing even though they all kind of fell for Haruka and the Unnuvo Voyage, but we'll, uh, you know, continue. Uh, later, Seiya sings to Usagi and Nyanko and Mouse attack because they could feel her energy. The inner senshi then attack. Uh, there's a Sailor Makeup song, which is basically just the song to let Sailor Moon transform. Um, Nyanko uses Galactica Puppet. The outer senshi appear. Pluto and Saturn actually harm Nyanko and Mouse with their attacks. Moon uses Moon Gorgeous Meditation, which heals Nyanko and Mouse, and they start to tell their story about how Galaxia uses the bracelet. She destroyed their planets and the senshi that protected the planets, because of course every senshi, every planet or star has a senshi. And then they were kind of forced to serve Galaxia, and the bracelets are what gave them their power. Crow and Siren appear, kill Mouse and Nyanko, they don't care, they take their star seats. Moon is against fighting, Siren and Crow, and the Sailor Senshi fighting, and so on, and then boom, Mercury and Jupiter are killed at the 40 minute mark of the musical. This is where we get started. So uh, the starlights appear, use gentle uterus and sensitive inferno, and then we get the song called Scent of War, which is basically the 
the whole cast getting together and singing. Uh, Galaxy appears with Shadow Galax the Galactica, all is revealed during the song. Chibi Chibi turns into Cosmos and um, vows to help Sailor Moon make the right decision this time. Uh, of course, Satomi Moon is back as... I I'm pointing over this way because I have a lot of like Conquista poster there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. And uh, so we see this really neat little vignette of a battle going on in the background. Cosmos uses Cosmo Crystal Lambda power, uh, is not successful, has the battle with Chaos, wonders if she had destroyed everything back then if the fighting would have stopped. Now, of course, in the anime, Chibi Chibi is Galaxia's starseed. In, this, in the uh, musical and in the manga, Chibi Chibi is actually Sailor Moon's future self come back in the form of Chibi Chibi to try to help her make the right decisions, but she's actually Sailor Cosmos, which is Sailor Moon's ultimate form. You with me? Let's keep going. Haruka and Seiya have a fist fight. Um, Haruka lets Seiya talk to Usagi. The Outers decide to make a shield around the universe. Uh, Usagi's upset that Momoru is not answering her. They sing a song called My Only Love, which is basically indicative of both Lonely Distance and I Miss You from the original stars and and Setsu musicals. One of them, I think it was Ain Densetsu. So again, rehashing right there. Ray pulls the death card. Minako remains confident. Taiki and Yatin and Minako and Ray come to an understanding. Seiya resolves to protect Usagi, and again, is very much like I miss you. Seiya helps Usagi remember what happened to Mamoru. Seiya explains Mercury and Jupiter are dead physically. The crystals are still there and still alive, though. Usagi, Ray, and Minako have a moment of comfort. They resolve to get the others back. Galaxia appears, kills Minako and Ray. Boom, gone. Galaxy is killing everyone to make Usagi's crystal stronger so she can take it because it will then emanate and will allow her to rule the galaxy. Usagi transforms, goes after Galaxia. We hear Celestial Born, which is the Outer's appearance uh, theme as they fight Shadow Galactica. Uh, Lead Crow uses Galactic Tornado. Crow and Siren invite the Outers to join them. Neptune then attacks. Siren uses Galactica Tsunami, which is a very strong attack, one of the strongest ones in the musicals, period, next to a big bad. And uh, even though in the Siren was the only one that actually used an attack in the Sailor Stars anime, which is Galactica Tsunami, it was just stupid. She's like throwing juice boxes and all this stuff on a plane and then like a water attack, and it really does nothing. But this one, it, it really got them. <coughs> Saturn and Pluto topple Crow and Siren with their attacks. Moon appeals to Galaxia after Galaxia appears and uses galactic in inflation. Uh, Uranus and Neptune use space turbulence and submarine violin tide. Uh, Pluto and Saturn use dead scream and silence glaive surprise. Galaxia is really strong, uses Galactica super string, and basically ends up killing Saturn and Pluto, which is horrible. Um, the parallel similar to when she made Uranus and Neptune kill them in the anime series. Uh, the starlights appear, use Gentle Uterus and Sensitive Inferno. Um, Galactica Inflation again this time. Uh, Uranus and Neptune save the starlights because they have no more power. They basically die in a scene very similar to the other stars musicals where they're holding each other's hands and then they disappear. Again with that neat little effect. Um, so Galaxia starts the collapse of Earth, Chibi Chibi then appears and unleashes the light of hope, and Galaxia disappears, Princess Kakyu appears, thank goodness they have an opera singer again, because that was just what made Kakyu in the past for me, personally, I really, really enjoyed that. Um, she sings The Last Hope, and uh, Kakyu explains in it that she had to let her body recover after coming to Earth, before she could appear to the Starlights, even though she heard their song, and asks for forgiveness for making them wait. Uh, the scene exactly like the past musicals, and that's where the break is, and that's where it ends. So, that is the first part of this. There is so much stuff going on. Everybody is basically dead at this point, except for Sailor Moon, Chibi Chibi, uh, Kaku, and the Three Lights. If it follows the manga, we're going to see, spoiler alert, that the lights are going to die, and then Kaku is left, and then she's going to die, and then blah, 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 blah. But if it follows the anime one, then Kaku's going to die first, and then the Starlights will stay alive. But I have a feeling everybody's going to be gone. Um... And I'm really sad that they don't have Heavy Metal Papillon or Leith and Nemesis in the River Styx and Kai and Phi in this because that would have just been so much more epic. That's why I think this musical should have been split into two parts. But that's just me. And uh, I would have loved to see Queen Beryl come back and so on. So um, there's good points about it. There's bad points about it. The music is kind of all over the place. There's some good songs. There's some that are kind of just lackluster compared to the other ones. And again, I'm comparing because I've watched all the old ones. And, you know, it's just one of those things. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. But, um, so, so far, it's very interesting. But just like a more Eternal, there's a lot of rehashing of things. Um, but I found a more Eternal to actually be a little more um, new. Like, new things thrown in there. Like, for example, Helios being 
a person rather than just like a laser show uh, from the original musicals. Whereas this one has so much rehashing of plot points from the original Stars ones. But I still like it. Stars is still my favorite series and there's a long way to go with this. So uh, I'm hopeful that the that Galaxia will use the Senshi crystals to rebirth them and have them go against Sailor Moon just like in the manga and so on and so forth. And then we'll see a good ending again where of course everybody's going to come back and it's Sailor Moon. Come on. So that's my review of this one and we will see sometime later this week hopefully uh, the rest of it and I will give the rest of my review for that. But until then let me know what you guys think. I will see you later. Jamatane mina.